okay, let's come to you coming back here. Yeah. First of all, big ups for so you you didn't why did you even decide to come back? Why didn't you decide that? Uh, so I came back because Westwood were had only it was pretty new to IB. I think it was only it had only done it for two to three years. Mm. But Kenya had IB and A level systems. Oh, so you had, had finished your O level. Yeah. So O level is what you did there. Yeah. For how long were you there? Two years. Three. Three years. Yeah. Oh yeah. It was meant to be four, but I did three. Oh, big thing that we forgot to say is that you are the youngest in your class because you were. Me and no no. By then, me and no no were the youngest in our class because you had they they jumped yeah, your year. Exactly. So when you come back now, you're coming back to do A levels or IB. Yes. Okay. I I was really open to going into uni. So now I come back and I'm like, Maze, it's media journalism PR. My mom was like, but also you're 15. <laughs> Sis. What? You're not going to uni at 15. Because now the, the uni that I had identified is USIU. Ooh. And that time, the, the yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, the social uh, myths about <laughs> USIU were uh, wild. <laughs> Those weren't myths. They were yeah. truths. <laughs> and so then my mom was just like, yeah, nah, no, nah. it's not happening. So and you're still in Langata. And we're still in Langata, okay. yeah. So then we shop around. We went to um, Brook House. Mm -hmm. because Brookhouse had AS which is one year yes so I was like this sounds dope it's mm. one year and we were really like you know and I respect my mom for even entertaining the Brookhouse um, school fees yes in fact you know, <laughs> I'm listening to you talking yeah. I'm just like you do yeah. you understand the yeah 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 even chapa. entertaining <laughs> even entertaining we went for the we went for the tour and Maze it was when they had their new campus mm. nini nini and i was sold my sister amanda just said one thing she was like hey, but me there i know brook house discipline is that that's all my mom had to hear <laughs> and we went straight to saint mary's i was like ah yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, my trauma. why 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 ah so we went to saints and now i've had horror stories about saints because saints from class one to it's a boy's a school. levels yeah to all levels it's, it's all boys, boys. Mm. so chicks are only in ib mm. and i'd had such horror stories how they'd um like grade chicks and and before i used to laugh at those stories but now that i've i've learned so much i understand that them letting the boys get away with that contributes to and i dare say rape culture mm. you know and maybe this is the first time I'll, first place i'll say it because i've never I've been struggling with I want to do a Twitter thread about this mm. but I don't know sometimes oh. it's words alone yeah to, I'm yeah. like people will not understand it mm. they they won't cuz it's such a legacy school I mean our president went there mm. and so many other people but um I'd had but I will come back to what I'm saying okay. uh, about that so after we're coming back to it um and so we go to Saints and the horror stories I'd had, like they'd grade um, chicks walking in the corridor. So a chick passes, there's a guy who holds up four. Oh. Negative one. Okay. You know what I mean? And at that age, you'd laugh it off. But now I'm just like, bro, that's problematic. Yeah, what the is. hell and how is this happening? As though you guys are in a forest. Where are the teachers? You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> there are some, there's authority, yeah. please, you know? Um, so I'd had very many horror stories and um i remember when we went so i had a very negative mm. i was just like so during orientation um they put us girl boy girl boy girl boy i guess in their own way they were trying to acclimatize and make you guys just see each other as humans mm. and i was sitting next to this uh guy who's brian sempele such a he's such a sweet but one of the best uh, violinists in our country actually mm. and he turned around he was like hi how are you I turned to him first. I'm pissed off because I was like, this was meant to be Brook House. <laughs> <laughs> One. <laughs> Two, I've had how this place is just yeah. rough. Are you about to start grading me, mister? Do you know, I turned and told him, I'm not here to make friends. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I'm so pissed. I was like, please focus. You know? <laughs> and he's so kind. <laughs> we ended up being friends, you know, but. I was like, oh man, I'm so sorry. Like, you came all that. Brookhouse, I love you. So, um, yeah, so they tried that. And 
even the first that was when i met my best friend val and we're still best friends to date mm. and i remember even going for the school uniform so in westwood <laughs> we wore gray pants um so we had options because of the weather yeah so you could either wear gray pants and a white shirt and we had a tie it looked funky so you roll up your ninis like you just look fresh and or you could wear um a purple skirt which by the way was different now so their culture in southern africa your skirt had to be above yep. your knee yeah please note i'm coming from lcb yeah. which is like if it can sweep <laughs> the ground even <laughs> better you know <laughs> now i'm into a bra yeah. Yeah? Sarafina style, you know? those dresses yes yep. Yep. so you wear that and it was like funky mm. for me at least we even had like these ha- bucket hats mm. you know it was it was fun do you have some pics from then I do, okay. I do. Embarrassing. Mm. I'll I'll share them with you. Yeah. Um, They're these ones. <laughs> Just. And so, um, and then afterwards, uh, now you come to Saints. I remember when we're, my mom and I were looking for the school uniform. We went to three different school outfitters mm. because me I was in denial. So in my head, I thought Saints IV people wore black, but that was only the school leaders and the men. The boys would wear black pants and yes. a white shirt and a black tie if they wore black ties and a black blazer. Mm. I think in my head I assumed because I'm coming from a school where there was no at this is what girls wear this is what boys yeah. wear. The girls could also wear the pants and mm. whatever. So me I knew I'm now going to wear black pants and a white shirt like kill outfit. Then we go we've been told oh say Mary's royal blue. Huh? What is that? Then it's another cachetless skirt. And then when I'm weeping in sorrow, they bring out a waistcoat <laughs> in that same royal blue. So the first one, I was like, no, mom, no, I think these guys are confused. It's black pants, it's black pants. It's not this place. My, my mom is entertaining me. I think, oh yeah, okay, if you, if you actually did the research and you know, yeah. sour, we got the second one. I'm like, I think they think it's St. Mary's, one of those boarding schools yeah. somewhere. <laughs> it's not. We're to another We're one. going to IB. <laughs> Dude, we're adults, all right? <laughs> to another one the third one now was in sarit that's cool out yep, 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 yep. my mom turned to me and told me hey believe this is your uniform <laughs> denial watcher <laughs> even told me. i was like okay i'll take everything but the waistcoat so the guy is like no the waistcoat is a mask because i was like oh, no i don't want a waistcoat who's wearing a waistcoat in royal blue <laughs> anyway so got to school orientation we're all in our uniforms my friend drops her locker key in the quad the quadrangle we're bending to look for it when we come up all the boys are on the corridors looking at us i was like what is this why are they savages <laughs> they've been in boys school I'm the like, whole time <laughs> what so you know now me i've never experienced a boys school i, I come it. from yeah. catholic and to me mixed years to mixed and liberal yep 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 to this i'm just like hey, seven hungry hyenas and <laughs> the things and when i joined oh, they had you know saints is known for its wonderful musicals yeah and there was a musical so to get for ib you have to do something called you have to get your community action or service hours yeah so it's also not only at if you pass class your exams now you'll pass yes. no it's very balanced yeah. you have presentations Wonderful. then you have to do things in the community a community project all of those things and so one low hanging fruit where you can get those hours is to help out in the musical mm. so i was doing makeup and i didn't understand why everybody was running away from doing makeup for the male <laughs> the male cast members yeah i didn't get it so i go there i'm doing makeup and the grotesque things these boys are telling you you're just like oh my god the high school boys yeah it's just so at that time you it's like it's irritating but now i'm just like where the audacity <laughs> the, the sheer audacity to fix your lips to tell me something like that you must be crazy you know yeah um but it was you know, baptism never, by fire but i've never thought about it for my for my woman's a chick's perspective huh yeah well there are all these boys who've been in a boys' school, literally. Thank God, at least it's day school. Yeah. Because boarding it, I think hey. it would be a bit worse. So, and there are this teenage place of hormones and all of these other things. Then suddenly, there's these girls who are in the school. You get. 
uh, but I've never looked at it from a girl's perspective oh, yeah. where you're the minority. For every 50 boys, there's one. It's you that know. there are things that we did looking back and I'm just like, and I, I don't, I'm not, I was going to say a French word, but crapping on mm. the, on mm. the institution because I'm still friends with some of my teachers. Yeah. I still help them out whenever they need certain things. And there were things that I learned there, you know, they were, I mean, my best friend, I met her there. Yeah. So there's, there's good, but these two things can be true at the same time where these Good Amazing. experiences exactly. and there's some problematic ones. Yeah. So for example, swimming. So my swimming continued again to get my hours. Ooh. I I could continue swimming there. Yeah. I've never felt objectified throughout my swimming career. <laughs> as and a started kid. at nine. Okay, yeah. even before. Even before. Yeah. So when I was seven, I started six, seven. But in Saints, I remember like we used to play water polo and um it was during lunchtime. All the boys would come and like sit around. Again, to me, it's not a big deal. But the comments or the remarks or whatever when you're walking out of the pool made it such that no chick felt safe, safe enough to get out or like confident enough to get out of the pool and walk. Yeah. So I remember one it's time. It's about the sports, about the chick in her body. Yeah, we were waiting in the pool, waiting for the boys to go. The bell has rung. We're still waiting. Paka, you get those minis yeah, on those your hands. Yeah, because the, the they're fingers. still waiting. We can't get out until they go, you know? So what we decided as chicks were like, Sawa, we're going to go to toy this Saturday. This Saturday, we're going to toy, we're going to toy, we're going to toy. We're going to buy board shorts. Short board shorts that we're going to wear. In our heads, we're not seeing anything problematic. All right? We're just adapting. Mm. So we go buy these board shorts from Toy, we make a girl's thing of it. So now we feel a bit more confident coming out of the pool because you feel a bit more covered. covered. Yeah. But those those conversations and those remarks still happen. Swimming gala. So all of you, as in, as in now you, all the chick female. Yeah. Fem the, We're not even many because yeah. remember. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all four or five of you. We're <laughs> not many. <laughs> Shucks, you know, in my head, I'm and seeing... fact, we're not many also because not many chicks Want wanted to swim, to swim because, because of that. that. Ah, okay, All right? I get it. So we go buy board shorts and still swimming gala. You bend like this. It's over. You're even seeing camera flashes of you taking photos okay. of you bent over, you know? And for me, I think just because I was very comfortable, to me, swimming was a sport, mm. you know? It wasn't enjoyment or whatever. Like when I'm swimming, it's like, again, I, mean, I want to win probability. Yes. You know, I'm focused on that. So I had, that was like a privilege I had. So I, I wasn't like too conscious of all of that. Secondly, I was dating a black Thai um, who's like a prefect. Mm. So I, in hindsight, now I see that gave me some sort protection. of protection, yeah. which is also problematic. Because the protection should be coming from the teachers. Exactly. The and why am I now protected? Because I'm rounded off to another man who's in authority. Why? That's strange. So if I wasn't, what then happens? That's, it's, it's actually very weird. It right? is. So there's that. Secondly. Um, so, so did you go to the institution and tell the institution, listen. Some of these things need to stop. Or at that time, are you so We're just insecure? adapting. Yes, I get what I mean. It's uh, you're learning as well. You get. We didn't have the the, the words yeah, for it or the it. name for what. We're just adapting. We know we still need to swim. We know we still need to do A B C D. But imagine that means a few people. Oh, in fact, you've said it. A few people didn't swim, not because they're not talented or anything. They didn't even bother to try, and that would have done something to their career and their life, just because of the cat calling and. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and very many girls got. Um, bullied. I know my best friend wouldn't mind me saying that she has no care for saints right now. Even our WhatsApp group of just us who are in IB, she had never joined it. She was like, that was not an experience I want to relive in my life. And I know so many girls who went through saints who have that same feeling. Mm. You know, there was a point where we were being told, because um, I was and I guess I, to some extent I still am very expressive in terms of like dressing and whatever. Yeah. And so I went through a bangle phase. You could hear me coming <laughs> <laughs> from that floor. You're telling me for one, get in my life. Yes. You're one, you know. 
she's approaching <laughs> some of the cameras. <laughs> So, <laughs> so we were being told how at the first they banned us from hugging boys because mm. we give the boys edges, mm. and I'm not even lying about that word. And the way I remember is edges because my the teacher at the time had uh, an accent, so he used to say edges. <laughs> so I remember we were told we give the boys edges if we hug them. Mm. Um, we need to, and also used to wear big earrings don't wear the earrings anymore because you're making the boys like you give them edges and i remember that one i questioned because i was yeah. like so you're yeah, going to tell me now when we finish ib and we're there walking in the streets of the cbd the arches were we're we start telling all the mamas hey 2020 my earrings 2020 20 please the guys are coming i'm like what type of men are you grooming that's an earring <laughs> can give edges. And also, how is it my business? Mm. You and your edges are your business. Mm. It's not mine, mm. right? And so, looking back, I'm just like, wah, 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 wah. With, with all that you know and all that you've experienced, given the fact that, for example, I, I mean, your, your situation is very unique. I know pr probably not other s mixed schools. I was in Braban. Braban mm. wouldn't have this kind because of the ratio of guys to yeah. chicks. For every, I mean, we... I understand as men or as boys in turning into men, we are also going through our teenageness mm. and all those things. However, your situation is a bit unique in that in that what advice would you give to authorities who would be watching this and listening to you mm -hmm. how to pr to make the situation better? Maybe they maybe they're not even aware. Now they're yeah. hearing you and they're just like, "Yo, we didn't even understand it from this yeah. perspective." What would you say? I think it's the same thing we want from our leaders, right? So even any group that is a minority mm. almost automatically becomes a vulnerable community. Mm. So you have to actually do more to ensure their safety and put policies in place or spaces where they can feel safe. And you have to be more aware of what does safe mean? Safe is not only having a, an askari at the gate to make sure kids don't skive school, mm. all right? Um, safe is mental. You know what I mean? Mm. Safe is emotional. Do they have a, a, a teacher or a space they can talk to mm. about certain things? Are there um, forums for you to hear from this vulnerable community or minority community on how to improve your system? Mm -hmm. Because also, if you're a male teacher, there are things you wouldn't understand from a female student's perspective yep. actually even if you're a female teacher yep. you're not going to be experiencing what i'm experiencing yeah, yep, right yep, yep. so you need to sit with me to hear from me instead of just telling me Create a safe forum yeah for me hear to, from me for, yeah. okay what do you think we should do differently and i think that wasn't done i don't know if it's being done now but i think that wasn't done and so you feel the only good thing is i is two years mm. so before you know it it's up and you're out but it's still but what you're thing. talking about especially when you put it in that context of a minority group mm. that applies in the workplace oh yeah that applies in like it's it's in total life and so in my workplace still, yeah. the minority may be millennials or mm. or an older generation oh, yeah. or females yeah. or, or even males people for, uh, males exactly yeah. it may be so this is not it sounds unique to to right now let me give an example you're yeah. the minority in this space There's yes one one woman and we're three guys yeah you're automatically the minority mm. so as an interview perspective where do i put the chair yeah i have to be cognizant of how is the camera going to roll this mm. how how does this work for you because mm. i'm gonna check so you're saying oh that is so powerful yeah. what you said it's not just for that space it's not and i think especially because now you're young you're kids in their eyes i don't think they think these things affect you as a young girl going into womanhood mm -hmm. but they do they really do in ways that you don't understand until years later you're like oh hang on <laughs> mm. that started there why mm. you know it was uh, i mean i had good moments don't get me wrong but there were some very huge problematic things okay that i'm like what but yeah. also i'm loving how the negative even experiences are beginning to shape you're very vocal about some things mm. and now i'm beginning to understand all of this life experience that you've gone through botswana racism there yeah 
or whatever is happening all of these things are leading up and, f- and shaping you exactly i'm only realizing it now actually yeah. <laughs> but in you some of them have made you act um be vocal in a positive light to mm-hmm. prevent this happening to other people mm-hmm. but that same shaping can be negative to other absolutely. people absolutely and Absolutely. even probably even to you and mm-hmm. now is when you're realizing mm-hmm. as you said mm-hmm. okay hey this that was an amazing thing that you've just said there thank you for sharing that openly i know yeah it may have been difficult maybe to write a tweet about this yeah because i really didn't want people to misunderstand me also because i i know there's such a huge legacy legacy thing about it but i'm like if you're not always trying to be better then what's the point mm. you know if you don't want to hear these conversations these are the ones that will make you be a better institution oh you know thank you so much for that um i'm still now trying to figure out saint mary is now one of the most positive things about it even when you think of the jeff koinanges and some of the people who've passed through that school arts so oh, how yeah. does now this help your career shape? because you entered this school knowing exactly there's an end, yeah. end goal does this play does the school play a role Thank <laughs> you.